so good morning everyone welcome to all this lecture number 15 of module 2 that is evaluation of the present state in the previous lectures we talked about sanskar culture and civilizations and from this lecture lecture number 15 and 16 we are going to talk about evaluation of the present state and steps for the transition so let's start the lecture so basically we are going to discuss two points in this lecture we are going to discuss we are going to critically evaluate the present society and in next lecture lecture number 16 we will see the steps for transition to reach the desired state of the society so one important thing is in this chapter we are going to critically analyze the present state so the major concern is to review and analyze the present culture civilization with a view whether we are promoting human characteristics perspectives and tendencies or not for example if we talk about advertisement so in present state there is a bombarding of advertisement around us through social media through tv through radio etc but the issue is whether these proposals are propagating whether these advertisements are propagating human characteristics perspectives and tendencies because what we are watching what we are listening in the form of advertisement is going to impact me and if these advertisements are not on the basis of human characteristics human perspectives then our sanskars our civilization is going to corrupt so if we to, uh, see that perspective of advertisement being presented today so basically it is primarily to generate the need of the products to use in place of showing its utility so most of the time the utility of the product is not being projected what is happening they are only propagating the need of the products so frequently we see this kind of advertisement we can notice it that they are primarily propagating the need of the product and many times these advertisement make us believe that we require those commodities those products so looking at the same in terms of physical facility we need to check whether we are promoting in sense of indulgence or right utilization this this is a serious question we have to evaluate our present state we have to evaluate our present civilization we have to evaluate our present culture from the behavioral aspect from the perspectives whether it is right or not similarly if we see behavioral aspects there is a need to check whether we are promoting justice or injustice whether we are promoting feeling of relationship or opposition so there are two possible approaches when we are going to critically analyze the present state what are those those possible approaches number 1 problem centric approach problem centric approach means we are only focusing on the problems and trying to find out their solutions and in solution centric approach focusing on the solutions and trying to evaluate the problems as an absence of the solutions so in this approach problem centric approach we are primarily focusing only on the problem and we try we are trying to get rid of this problem anyhow but in second approach solution centric approach we are contemplating the solution and we are seeing the problem in the absence of the solution so in solution centric approach we have solution in the center holistic solution in the center in problem centric approach we are only focusing on the problem 
so in solution centric approach we are generally trying to understand how we can ensure a fulfilling life for ourselves and all and then work for such a living in our day to day life so this approach basically help us to see our role as a human being so if we talk about solution centric approach it help us to see our role as a human being in this nature how we can ensure living with mutual fulfillment in this nature then we can try to live like this and verify ourselves that this does lead to state of fulfillment for oneself and the other ultimately for everyone this is the state of complete solution it means i am interconnected i have this sense that yes, i am interconnected with every unit i know how to live a fulfilling life and now i am i see that problem in the in the absence of that solution where i am not able to fulfill those natural laws those coexistential laws this is a state of complete solution so basically if we follow solution centric approach it gives a holistic perspective of human living holistic perspective of human living in the light of this now we can see that individual solutions are part of it and individual problems are lack of individual solutions they are not isolated therefore we do not try to solve them in isolation we are looking at these problem in the light of overall solutions and trying to solve them accordingly however it may happen that there is a some priority so if urgent we may give priority to work on individual solution to solve an individual problems so we can see that the prevailing approach today is the problem centric approach however what approach we are going to take here for critical analysis we are going to take solution centric approach okay so we are going to proceed with solution centric approach to so taking solution centric approach we try to develop a holistic perspective about human existence through this approach through holistic approach holistic perspective we have been able to identify our goals at all four levels of living till now if we see in previous lectures we have focused on human human relationship we focused on identity identification of relationship its acceptance we focused in ensuring the natural feeling in oneself and its fulfillment with others so this provides the basis for a human society in which trust respect affection are ensured for every human being and in the absence of these feelings in relationship we all face many kind of problem in the society so in light of this we can make a critical analysis of the present day situation in terms of whether this mutual fulfillment in relationships is ensured at different levels or not different level means at the level of individual family society nature and existence so wherever this mutual fulfillment in relationship is not ensured at any of these levels it will show up as problems at that level so basically what problems we are facing in the society it because of lack of mutual fulfillment in relationship so if we are facing problem at the level of family it means there is a lack of mutual fulfillment if we are facing problem at the level of society it means there is a lack of relationship there is a ignorance of relationship there is a ignorance of mutual fulfillment so with this background we will try to analyze the present state of the society but if we observe at the level of if we observe the problems we can see that individual family society 
are large because of the absence of fulfillment of relationship at any particular level so if we ensure fulfillment of these feeling at each of these level then it seems feasible that we will naturally get rid of the problems that we are facing today of course it is going to take time but these will be resolved gradually okay so let's see problems as i told you and you can easily observe it that in the society there are many problems at the level of individual family society nature existence at every level you can see ample of problems and you can investigate you can observe that all these problems are due to lack of this fulfillment of feelings so if we see current state this is the current state what is the current state there is a obsession for consumption there is a obsession for profit there is a obsession for sensual pleasures similarly we can see there is a terrorism war in the society there is a exploitation natural depletion pollution in the nature so why why it is happening because of absence of these goals if we focus only on these problems and we don't have idea of this solution then it will create again a problem so these problem can be eliminated in the society while ensuring these goals in everyone so why there is a problem at the level of individual obsession problem of obsession problem of obsession of consumption profit sensual pleasure because in every individual there is a assumption that money is everything so if we see in the terms of solution what should be ensured in every individual if we ensure right understanding right feeling at the level of individual then this assumptions will be evaluated gradually and we can get rid of these problems so basically these problem exist because of the ignorance of this goal so if we ensure this goal we can get rid of these problems gradually similarly at the level of family there is a need of prosperity feeling of prosperity in the absence of fulfilling this feeling what is happening many people are trying to accumulate more things by any means and it is resulting into accumulation of things which is ultimately exploiting the nature similarly fearlessness in society if we ensure this goal then there will no domination exploitation in the society because it is happening domination exploitation is happening because there is not trust there is a lack of trust in the society so by fulfilling this feeling of trust we can get rid of these problems similarly at the level of nature there is a problem of resource depletion pollution why because we are not able to see coexistence with nature so if we are not able to see coexistence of nature we assume nature as a source of consumption and unknowingly we start exploiting nature okay so how can we get rid of this problem by ensuring these goals in the society if we ensure these goals we can get rid of these problems gradually so if we want to transit from the current state to desired state ensuring fulfillment in relationship is must and this fulfilling relationship can only be ensured if a person has right understanding right feeling thus to work for ensuring the right understanding right feeling in an individual is a fundamental step for transition so if we see most of the problem in our society today like problem of war 
प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टेररिज्म इज बिकॉज ऑफ द लैक ऑफ रिलेशनशिप सो यू कैन सी अराउंड यू दैट नाउ अ डेज वॉर हैज बिकम अ बिग इंटरनेशनल प्रॉब्लम अ लार्ज फ्रैक्शन ऑफ वर्ल्ड रिसोर्सेस मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट इज स्पेंट इन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ दीज वॉर्स इफ यू लुक क्लोजली दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लैक ऑफ रिलेशनशिप दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लैक ऑफ रिलेशनशिप एंड अल्टीमेटली प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लैक ऑफ राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड राइट फीलिंग सो इफ अ कंट्री इज नॉट एबल टू सी इट्स रिलेशनशिप विद अदर कंट्री देन द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वॉर जनरेट्स सो दे आर फोर वन और बोथ आर ईगर टू एक्सप्लाइट इन द एबसेंस ऑफ फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ दीज रिलेशनशिप दे ट्राई टू डिफीट इच अदर दे ट्राई टू प्रूव देयर सुपीरियरिटी सो इट मस्ट बी ऑब्वियस दैट बोथ द पार्टीज दैट वॉर इज अ लॉस फॉर बोथ ऑफ दम बट दे आर नॉट एबल टू स्टॉप इट बिकॉज दे आर नॉट एबल टू सी दैट देयर एग्जिस्ट दे आर नॉट एबल टू सी एनी बेटर पाथ विच कैन बी एंश्योर्ड विद द फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप विद द फीलिंग ऑफ कॉपरेशन Similarly, the same holds for us also. We are busy fighting with neighbors. We are having feeling of jealous with neighbors. We have created a wall around our family and consider those within the family as our relative, and rest all as outsiders, as opponents. That's why many times we are ready to do anything for those family members, and we do not even hesitate to exploit others. for the benefit of our family why it is happening because i have considered only my family members as a relative and others as a opponent so we are exploiting unknowingly others and trying to get those those accumulated things for our family members so all these are happening because we are not able to see the relationship with others the same is happening at all the levels that is between village district states etc all the fights wars grudges are due to lack of relationship and are due to basically lack of right understanding and right feeling so even if we see things from our perspective today we all want to move forward leaving others behind we have made it as a indicator of our progress we do not think in terms of combined progress because we are not able to see other people as our relative another another example you can see like terrorism it has also the same root that is lack of relationships so we treat one particular group of people like our own and the rest all as others as soon as this differentiation of my own the other come in human human relationships get neglected and we become ready to do anything for our people at the cost of harming the others killing the others so most of the time we are ignoring this relationship and it is creating many problems in society similarly most of the time we are doing to get respect from our society we have not understood the feeling of respect because of lack of this right understanding in myself and we have not understood the feeling of respect that it is not a thing just to get from outside rather it needs to be established in oneself so if we understand the true meaning of relationship these feelings we get rid of this mindset of individual progress through cutthroat competition we will rather think of cooperation with the right understanding we think of how can we participate in a society for well-being of all and how a harmonious society can be developed so keeping this in mind the whole course if you see the whole course half of the course is focused on relationship 
to understand the feeling of these relationships so you have you must have remember this uh, in the previous lectures starting from lecture number 1 we are talking about established values expressed values different formulations of relationship given in traditions talking about culture civilization sanskar half of the course almost half of the course is focused on the relationship because relation lack of relationship ignorance of relationship is the root cause of many problems in the society so if we ensure these feelings in our behavior in our conduct most of the problems in human human interaction will be automatically solved so you can think of you can make a list try to make a list of the problems around you problems at the level of individual problems at the level of family problems at the level of society problems at the level of nature make a list of those problem and find out what is the root cause of this problem so for example problems in relationship problems in family is because of lack of relationship or because of lack of physical facility fight between you and neighbor is because of lack of relationship or because of lack of physical facility so if you investigate properly in right manner you can find out that at the root the lack of relationship is the problem and the scope of improvement is also exist we can contribute to finding the solution at our level at the level of family at the level of society so we also need to discuss what our purpose is behind every endeavor each person should have maximum physical facility or some people should get maximum physical facility there is a need to discuss what should be the focus of our culture and civilization is it focused on the growth of some or all the people does it focus on the well being of every human being or some people so this question must be raised so that there would be a specific design of the whole system societal structure in view the well being of human beings collectively as a whole not in fractions so we are thinking about collective well being and not individual well being and this is a big change in mindset which needs to be understood so if there is a conflict between personal interest and collective interest then which one be prioritized this we need to raise a question there might be human clashes until we prioritize between the individualistic approach to accessibility of physical facilities and the collective approach to accessibility if we are concerned for some people under an individualistic approach a mindset of indulgence will increase and vice versa on the other hand the collective approach will help to make a shift to live within the possible resources which everyone can meet so along with this we can take many issues we can take many issues and we will find out that most of the issues which we are facing today are because of lack of fulfillment of relationship lack of fulfillment of these goals so why this there is a lack of fulfillment in society because we have not fulfilled this first goal so if we ensure these goals in our education system then one may be able to ensure these feelings in society so with this now we can sum up the whole lecture so basically in this lecture we talked about two approaches problem centric approach and solution centric approach so we can analyze anything any issue of the society any culture any civilization 
either problem centric approach or solution centric approach problem is problem with this problem centric approach is we keep focus on the problem only and we try to get rid of those problem when problem is in focus we do not understand its interconnectedness interrelatedness with other issues so we try to solve my problem problem related to me in isolation and if you see the whole existence the whole existence is actually a coexistence there is a interconnectedness there is a interrelatedness so no problem can be solved in isolation problem can be solved with a holistic perspective problem can only be solved with a holistic vision so if we solve my problem or any problem keeping other things in focus then it is a solution centric approach so with solution centric approach my approach is holistic it means i am able to see interconnectedness from individual to family to society to nature existence and we are able to see their innateness we are able to see my participation with this approach with this wisdom now we are trying to solve the problem now i can see that this problem exist because of lack of fulfillment of comprehensive human goals or lack of fulfillment of relationship so what would be my focus now my focus would be to ensure this lack of to ensure the fulfillment of relationship if i try to ensure fulfillment of relationship the problem will get automatically solved now you can pause this video for 2 minutes you can take pause make your own list of problems or make the list of your previous problems which you solved and write in next column whether you took the approach first approach problem centric approach or solution centric approach so in previous days few days back you try to solve many problems you can ma make a list of those problems and in next column mark which approach you took to solve those problem you solved those problems with problem centric approach or you solved those problem with solution centric approach and also observe when you solve problems with problem centric approach whether it is solved now or some another problem exist because we have not taken solution centric approach and solve the problem with solution centric approach and see which one is better problem centric approach or solution centric approach so with solution centric approach there is a need to be a holistic vision in myself there is a sense of interconnectedness with every unit in this nature if i have this sense if i have this realization of this coexistence then we will take solution centric approach so that's all from my side for this lecture in next lecture we are going to talk about steps required for the transition from the current state to desired state of the society okay thank you very much so let's meet in the next lecture thank you have a good day